Hello MechWarriors, how's it going? And welcome to your daily dose of MechWarrior Online. Guys, today we are playing The Grasshopper. I recently released a Thunderbolt video and people were asking me, can you do a thing like that without the need of a hero mech? And I'm saying, yes, you can. There are plenty of possibilities and I want to produce the Grasshopper 5P to the battlefield today. And uh, we're going to have some fun. And as you can see, it has a lot of laser options here. Now, the build is a slight difference, a slight variation from what we saw on the Thunderbolt uh, before, because this one is not running three large lasers in five mediums. This one is running two large lasers and six medium lasers. And that's because we are not really losing that much firepower. Sure, a little bit of range, but we can also put more heat sinks into the mag, and that is quite cool. That makes it kind of a more or less a mid-range build, more than a mid to long range build. It's kind of a mid to short range build than rather a mid-range build. But the firepower is almost the same and we can fire more often. We can fire more constantly, which means that overall we have better DPS, I would say. And uh, you're not running that hot in the build. Also, we have access to jump jets on this mech here, and we are running two of them. So we have good mobility, we can even do something like pop-tarting, like jumping up, shooting our lasers and then falling down. But, you know, it's better with projectile weapons than with laser weapons, but, you know, it's better than nothing. So adjusting your aim while you're falling down and trying to trace your enemies while you're in motion is sometimes a bit hard. We also have the benefit of a targeting computer that extends our beam range, it helps us zoom, it gives us additional criticals, and it's, in fact, a very good thing to have in a build like that. So the one ton is always a good investment when you have so many lasers. The rest is heat management as well as a light engine 300 as you can see and yeah it's a, it's a very straightforward build and super easy to play guys. We also have some skills so let's dive into them before we get into the games here and as you can see we have laser duration 1, 2, 3 and 4 unlocked as well as good chunk of heat gen range and cooldown on the way down. I'm usually taking those left and right arms because those heat gen nodes here are easily accessible and it helps us shooting more often. On top of that bit of armor hardening as well as skeletal density I even was able to get to the right side of the whole uh, survivability tree here and then maximum cool run maximum heat containment on the operations tree because we are an energy boat and it will get hot therefore this helps us staying a little bit colder we also have rated deprivation 60 percent of it for nice defensive maneuvers as well as double cool shot plus a uav and that is the build everybody wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming now and if you have that as always don't forget to leave a rating subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and now it's time to hit the battlefield Alrighty, first game of the day, guys. We are playing the Hibernal Rift. We are playing Assault. We definitely wanna go to the Charlie 4 area. Yeah, yeah, I was thinking about uh, joining the Raven here because that guy, he has ECM and it's kind of good to have, but I will be a big and open target if I move up there. I could because I got the jump jets, mm, but you know what? I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try because there is stuff to shoot, certainly. Let me see if we can hit the Mad Dog a little. Gotta make sure that nobody is coming around that corner, right? Ah, uh, yeah, you know what? You know what? I think I should keep moving because my team is moving more towards the Charlie 4 area. Yeah, being here and getting disconnected from the team by just falling behind is not great. So we're gonna move over here. We're gonna take this ramp. Absolutely. Because we need to be somewhat at a close range with our enemies. There's a Hunchback 2CA. I saw somebody. There is a light mech coming around the corner. Alrighty. So we're gonna definitely go for the Stalker. Jumping. We're gonna try that again. And he got some great damage in the back. I don't know why in the back, because I kind of aim for his side up, but okay. So, artillery is opening opening me up a little bit, but that's fine. Uh-huh. So, yeah, well, let's get that hunch back. It's not much that we can do here. In the early game, we're just gonna peek a little bit, but uh, I think as long as we are dealing damage and our enemies are not, I think it's gonna be okay. Hey, mister, you are so distracted right now, which is great. Here's my friend the Stalker again. Alright, I think we just destroyed one of his arms. So a bunch of lasers are done. Uh, hello Mr. Corsair, you're also not targeting me right now. You know what, I'm thinking I'm gonna go in once more and this is where we're gonna pull back. Yes! That's a Gauss to the face. And I don't wanna... I, wa I don't want any of that. Although Marauder is still attacking, so we're gonna attack with him. Sure, as long as we can shoot. Mm, that Kujuk was a bit prematurely. Ow, stop that mister. Can we get another shot out? Yes, we could. Corsair has one shot. Uh, one shot center. All right, so uh, let's move around a bit because this whole peaking situation is giving me more damage than I want to. Corsair is down, though. That's great, guys. Oh, crap. Yeah. Should have maybe twisted that, not attacked. But all right. So he was peaking the same time that I was peaking. I want to get out of here now. My center torso doesn't look great anymore. All right. Mm, a commando is narked, right? That's fine. I mean, my friend is going in again. If we stay a little bit behind him, we might get something done. I mean, we have the jump jets. 
But we don't see anything anymore. Alrighty, so into the fight to the right side we go. Let's do it, guys. Holy crap. Let's move over here. Try to jump our way up. Stay on the high ground. That's important here. Because everybody is focused on the low ground. And we can use that to our advantage. See that guy? He is not, not uh, aware at all. So we're going to quickly get that kill. Hello, Mr. Mad Dog. What are you running? I don't know. Um, left side seems clear because we have a UAV telling us... Oh, I wanted to say that nobody is there, but there is somebody now. See, I don't want to engage that guy. Not directly. Let's see if we can find the Mad Dog once more. Mm, all right, so here we go. On the Hunchback. Gotta be a little bit careful with my center torso. Yes, exactly. And I think as a result, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the thing. Yes, I'm sorry, guys. I'm gonna do the thing. Let me try to position myself in a way that I can live. That's super duper important. Uh, also that I can hit my stuff. My twist angle, my, my, my yaw angle is actually. Yaw, twist, whatever. It cannot move anymore. <laughs> I cannot move any further down. So, speaking of, there is somebody down. Mmm, commando hitboxes, baby. Let's go for the hunchback. I knew that his side torso was open. So we're gonna quickly take that kill. And I'm gonna uh, pull back. Pull, pull, pull back, because there's a freaking Fafnir. Alrighty, so I'm gonna take it slow here, because that Fafnir seems scary as hell. Oh, it's a Lerm Fafnir. Alright, that Fafnir is Lerming and Charlie too, guys. Uh-huh, uh-huh, can we push him? I'm gonna push him. You coming with me, Enforcer? Oh boy, oh boy, that, that's gotta be... That's gotta be a very difficult task. Yeah, it's actually the Mad Dog who is doing that. And he got a great shot on my center torso. I was, you know what, I was doing the laser burn and I was like, okay, I'm finished doing the laser burn now and I'm gonna twist now. And at that point, he already got me. He was faster than I could react to that. Should have played it again more defensively. Anyway, 633, it's not bad. Let's see how the game unfolds. We are not done yet. The commander is still here in the proximity of the Kraken, giving low signal to everybody. And he's gonna be a pain in the butt. Yeah, he's right behind you, buddy. Oh boy, there he is. Give him hell. No, nope. almost. Almost. Man, we gotta really deal with those light mechs somehow. Uh, our Fafnir, double heavy PPC. Go for the other Fafnir, buddy. Yeah, give him hell, man. This is so important right now that we're gonna get the big guy. Go for the big guys. There's a Fafnir in the center. Ooh, easy target. And here's the thing. The light mechs are distracting our friends so much that the big guy can now come in. However, in the right moment, the, we got the kill on the, I think, Commando. The fleet is engaged, and now we can deal with the Fafni. And in fact, it was the guy with the LRM-10s. Interesting. All right, so, get him, buddies. Mad Cat with some AC-2s and ERPPCs. All righty. That's a, that's a different build than what you normally see. And I do think that our Kraken, that our Atlas, is now kind of getting wrecked. Go for the big targets. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Revenge on the Mad Dog. Nice. And now the flea is the last one. This is how you usually do it. Ignore the little guys as long as you can. If you have bigger targets, if you have bigger fish to fry, then go for them first. Of course, if he's going for you, you gotta somehow drive him away from you. But um, just trying to chase him and then getting shot from everybody else from the outskirts just makes you waste all of your ammo and it's getting you killed quicker than the light mech could kill you if you just go for the other guys. Anyway, um, I think you get the point, right? We got two killing blows, we got six assists, one kill most damage dealt, 633 damage done, 241 taken with four components destroyed, and that was the first one. Let's go over to the next and see how this will go down. Alrighty, second game of the day. We are playing the River City. We are playing Conquest. Oh, there are PPCs flying already. I wanted to get into the center of the map, but not if I am in open terrain so everybody can shoot me. So, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna see what, uh, what's gonna happen. There's a light mech. You know what? I'm gonna help out against the light mech. It will put myself into an awkward position in terms of mm, the rest of the firepower that's coming. Yeah, it's coming over there. And I really do hope that all of those guys don't have a lot of long range going on. Is that only a single light mech? It is a single light mech. No, it's two light mechs. Okay, I'm gonna help out. Oh, let's go. We have a flea. We have a mad cat. I mean, those guys are defending themselves. It's a kill. Uh, and this is where the other guy is gonna disengage, right? Yeah, he's coming right towards me. All right, gonna help out, as I was saying. By the way, uh, night vision sometimes helps with the, you know, spotting those... Um, spotting those nasties, those stealthy mechs. Stealth mech Fox 8. It's a flea, I believe. So, let's see. Oh. He's gonna come around again. Or is he? I think I saw him here. Alright, anyway, we got some damage in. It wasn't that great of an engagement, but I think uh, we helped out a little bit. I think my people had it handled quite nicely. So now we're getting pushed from the left side. Alright, that's gonna be interesting. 
is the urban mech. He's pretty cocky for an urban mech. Does it mean he is alone or does it mean he has friends? I don't know. But I know that I'm the last one in this uh, uh, in this trail of Max here. Uh, let's see. The Madcat is pushing in again. Oh, low signal. Turning around. Where is he? Where did he go? Um, He was here a second ago. Probably turning to the right side. Yeah, there he is. Okay. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I don't really want to... Don't really want to fight that single flea here. Oh man, this guy's gonna harass us forever. But I think taking it slow is the right approach. This light mag, this single light mag, really keeps four mags busy. That's that's really good. I mean, it's bad for us. Oh, that's a brawler. That means we're gonna stay away from him? No, we're gonna push that guy. Get the quick draw, 4H in the center, at Theta. Oh uh, yeah, we're gonna push that guy. We're gonna push him. And we got him. Perfect. Yes, I overheated a little bit. It took a bit of my arm structure and my center torso structure. All right. Uh, but you know what? While we are here, we can also take Vader and we're going to take that Blood Us on Juliet, guys. That is perfect. Get the left side or the center. Oh, boy. One more. Through the nuts. Because that center torso hitbox and uh, the fight on the other side is also kind of unfolding. That's interesting. I mean, we have spent so much time in the center here that I believe the rest of the enemies are basically done. Right? I mean, where is the rest of the enemies? They are still five mechs alive. There is some... Yeah, there are some missile barrages coming down. Alrighty, so let's get the archer. Is that for me? No, luckily it's not. I'm gonna try to go for center. Oh, wait. Yeah, I wanted to say that guy is probably an XL build. So, yeah, we got the archer as well. Man, it seems like I'm using a lot of my time to maneuver around the map and not really shooting my weapons. So far, I'm not happy with the damage output. But anyway, again, we are helping out the team. We are kind of winning the fights. Why do you need assistance? Is there the light mech still? All right. I mean, somebody's at Gamma, uh, and there's a fight in the center or in the Fox 7 area. Right, got it. So, let me see. Who is there? Can I somehow... I cannot hit anything, obviously. Uh, Theta is being kept by us. Gamma is being kept by the enemies. That means they they are all in the, in the center of the of the map. There, sure. Let's go for it. It's a black lantern with pulses. No, yeah, small pulses. There's the light mech. Uh, we got a component destroyed. That might have been the leg. I don't know. We're gonna check this out. It might have been also the uh, the arm or anything. So, uh, Gamma is still being kept, by the way. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, we're gonna take the low ground here. Because I want to see what's going on there. Did we lag him? We did indeed lag him. Okay, jumping up, splashing the damage to the legs, and everything. All right, we got him. Man, that was beautiful. So, back to Gamma. There is still one guy here. You know what? And a UAV is helpful. UAV in this position. I want to see where the Gamma guy went. Another Gamma UAV. Hmm. So, he has to be somewhere. And it is the second to last guy. There is a dude. Was it a Stormcrow? Yeah, probably it was a Stormcrow capturing Gamma. So let's see what we can do. We're gonna try to hunt that guy down, definitely. Gamma is being taken care of already. And this here, Vulture, the Mad Dog, it, it can just do the job and then uh, it's gonna... Um, it's gonna catch up. It's a very interesting dynamic here. I mean, it's not like this whole firing line, big alpha strike, deal damage to everybody game. It's a, it's a very tactical game. All right, let's go for the crow. Oh, he's even coming back. That's perfect. <clears throat> if we could hit our stuff. Hello. All right, take that and leg him. So we cannot walk and run anymore. And then we're going to take the kill in a single laser swipe. Anyway, we have one more enemy on the board. And it's an AFK, you say? Wait, which means that he's somewhere here? No, wait, this is our spawn. The enemy spawn on the other side of the battlefield. So, yeah, we got all the caps except for Sigma. That's great. So, at the very least, we have basically won the game since uh, the captures are in our favor. But, um, I believe he's gonna be in like Delta 4, Fox 3, Golf 3 area. Check out Fox 3, Golf 3. Let's see, let's see. I mean, we got four killing blows here in this one. But it kind of feels like we were kind of snatching those kills because they were done anyway. Um, let's see, guys. Uh, we will see about the, the whole thing in the end score when we are done. 
but maybe we can even get the AFK. And it's kind of a shame that our enemies have an AFK because I usually like fights where uh, it's kind of even, you know, where everybody has the same chances and uh, the same amount of mechs on the battlefield. When there's one guy not there, it's kind of a 12 and 11 situation already and they have a big handicap. Anyway, interesting game, very split here. But we did it, and I'm very curious of how much damage we dealt. It felt like I dealt like 400? Yeah, 531. Four killing blows, though. Three kill most damage dealt. It is not about the numbers all the time. Sometimes it's okay if you have an interesting and fun match. And this year was certainly something that was different from what we've seen all the time. Guys, that has been your daily dose, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating. Really, it would help me out a lot as a content creator. And if you want more of this, subscribe. And I hope to see you guys the next time. Goodbye.